What's going on everybody? It's Pi Guy here and today I just wanted to do a follow-up video to my previous video which was how to install Kodi on a Fire Stick and this one is really going to be applicable to anything you're running Kodi on whether it be a Fire Stick, a Raspberry Pi, PC, whatever. It's really universal um, and this pretty much works with every build I've seen and maybe a few slight differences but all the builds I've come across these are just universal settings I like to tweak before I can really dive into the Kodi build and start checking out all, all the add-ons and whatnot. Um, so first thing you have to do whenever you set up a Kodi build is let it sit about five minutes or so. Honestly that's the best thing you could do. There's going to be add-ons that are being enabled, uh, wallpapers that are being installed, um, little graphics, uh, shortcuts at the top, things like that. So you need to just let it sit for a few minutes, otherwise you're going to get a lot of lag as you try to dive in through the options and go into the add-ons and it's just not going to make you very happy. So everything else is really going to be done from the system settings, yours may say options or settings or something to that effect, but you want to get into there and your screen is going to look very similar to this, you're going to have all the same options. And the next thing to jump into is system. And you can see there's not a lot of subcategories in here. And even within those, there's very few options. And that's because by default, your settings level is usually not up as high as it can be. And that would be expert. You can see as I tweak it, I get more subcategories and now there's way more options in those categories. So next thing I do is I like to make sure my screen fits um, or I should say my display fits my screen, whether it's a monitor, TV, it doesn't matter. To do that, go into display and hop down to video calibration. And this is pretty simple. You can see in the top left corner, there's a L there. You want to match that up to the corner of your display. Um, I'm just pressing down and left and right, just the directions. Once you match that one up, you hit OK. And it's going to take you to the bottom right corner and do the same exact thing. And then you're going to have a subtitle line. You can position that wherever you like to. This isn't for things that have the subtitles built into the actual copy of a movie or TV show. This is for the optional subtitles or closed captions that you enable when you're watching something. Um, and then the next thing is you want to make this rectangle look a little more like a square. Don't fill it up to your whole screen. That's not what they want you to do. But just, just eyeball it and see how it looks. And then when you press OK, you notice it's going to continue to cycle through. So what you want to do is hit the back button. And that'll get you out. Your screen should be sized up just right now. And pretty simple. So next thing we're going to do is hop over to interface. So within here, you can actually change two things. Um, one is your time. You can see on the bottom left, it's, tell, it's telling me that it's 7.30 in the morning, and it is definitely not. It's uh, late afternoon, early evening for me right now. So to change that, you want to hop into regional. And again, I'm doing this on a Raspberry Pi. If you are running this on a Fire Stick, you have to go into the Fire Stick system settings and adjust your time there. You're not going to be able to fix it in Kodi. It's going to drive you nuts. It took me a while to figure that out. I covered that in a prior video as well, but it's very simple to do. In this case, we're on a Raspberry Pi, so you want to go down to Time Zone Country, and I am in the United States. So I'm just paging down, going a little too fast. United States, it puts me on the East Coast by default. That's fine for me. I'm actually not far from New York. So my time and everything else is correct. All this regional stuff, these subcategories, that's really fine by default. If you like to change it to military or whatever you want to do, that's up to you. But default settings will take care of the rest. So the next thing you want to do is hop over. I'm still in interface. I jumped out for a second by mistake. But go down to other. And you want to turn off deselect this show RSS news feeds. Um, and really what that does is if you notice there's a little ticker in the main uh, menu when you're scrolling through your categories, your movies and TV, giving you all this news of stuff that you really don't even know what it's talking about most of the time. Um, that really just eats up your processing power for your system. So just deactivating, just deactivating that will a lot, if you, a little extra uh, processing for you. So that's that. Um, the next two things I do are within the skin settings. So you can get there by going into skin here, or if you go out to the main menu, you can also just do the shortcut to skin settings. It's all the same. So go ahead and open that up. And if you notice when I started this video, 
I was by default, all I did was click on Cody, I let it run, and I hit the record button. I was on the kids section. I don't have any kids, so I don't really need that. I like to have mine go to movies. So within the skin settings, I go to home menu options. And right there, the very first one, default focus menu item. Just go ahead and hit OK. It'll cycle through whatever you want to put yours to, depending on your build. And I want to put mine to movies. So I'm just going to leave it right there. And the very last thing I do is, um, actually, I'll show you guys. If I go back home, you notice on the bottom right corner, I have a power button, a favorites, and a DVD eject button. I have no need for that. This is on a Raspberry Pi. Same thing if it's on a Fire Stick, it's not going to be very helpful. So I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to hop back down there to uh, skin settings. And under miscellaneous, go to this enable home screen DVD tray eject button. Just deselect that. Now when you hit home, whenever you change something in your skin settings, it's going to ask you if you want to save it pretty much. Hit yes. So it's gonna lag out for like a second while it does that, but that way, next time you come in, you won't have an issue having to redo this all over again. But very simple, uh, simple steps. As you can see, they only take a few minutes to go through, but definitely um, probably gonna be the first things on your mind. So if uh, you guys have any questions or comments, appreciate it if you leave them below. If this helped you out, would also appreciate it if you hit the like button. And as always, thank you for watching, guys.